up, my friends? <laughs> Rob Fury, Talent Relations Specialist here at Streamy.com. I'm welcoming you to the Digimon Cat Signing. <laughs> this, is, this is a phenomenal time right now. So without further ado. Oh, I know that song. Oh, we, we love that song. We're going to go <laughs> and we're going to go and introduce ourselves, who we are, the characters that we play, and our amazing moments on Digimon. So first off, let's start off. Hello, I'm Tentomon. No, actually, I'm Jeff Nimoy. I play Tentomon, Kabu Terrymon, a lot of other, other Digivolutions of Tentomon, and uh, I wrote and directed most of the first two seasons. Oh, what? I didn't know that. <laughs> I always ask for the other two. And the movie. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Next up. Hi, everybody. It's me, Laura Summer. And on Digimon, I was Adamon Digivolved. Yay! Yay! <laughs> and I guess I was Tokemon, too. And <laughs> because they say so. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> um, a lot of you are here, I think, because I was also Janine on the real Ghostbusters. Hello, Ghostbusters, please haul. So, I have no idea. That's I love that. And um, I'm really happy to see my old friend Jeff Nimoy because the last time I saw him, we made out. Oh, wow. <laughs> right there. You <laughs> never <laughs> heard of that. Wait a minute, me too. That's Digimon <laughs> OnlyFans right there. Last time I saw Jeff, we made out. Well, if, and that's if, the last uh, time I worked for him, too. So don't do oh. that. Don't do that. that I hope a, he got a good payday. He did a lucid. I haven't yeah. worked for him in a while. So, like, that's Oh, we're going to Doug. Go for it. Hello. I, oh, so how excited am I? <laughs> Laura. So I'm Doug TK Airholtz, season two TK. And Laura, I've never met you before. Like, this is like the closest I've ever met you. I, I and I'm so excited. Close. She's my Panamon. <laughs> She's my Panamon. So you you know me as the voice of, of TK in season big two. T big TK. Yeah. Yes. Be, You've big, sat big on his TK. shoulder before without knowing it. Yes, and uh, look, you're sitting on my head. You're sitting on my head in my shot. <laughs> so yeah, I do a lot of stuff just like the rest of these knuckleheads, a little bleach, a little Naruto, a little bit of a, all that other fun stuff. So thank you guys for uh, for joining us. I haven't seen Josh. I haven't seen, well, I've seen Colleen and uh, Brian uh, at a convention. But yeah, we're excited to be here. Thank you. Awesome. Next up, Joshua. Hey guys, I'm Joshua Seth. Although according to the screen here, I'm Oshua Seth. So yeah, whatever you prefer. Right. And uh, I play Ty on Digimon. Shebang! Right there. And it's great to see everybody. Hi, I, I moved out of LA many years ago to go on tour with my live show. And I'm only just starting to do Comic-Cons now. I'm a little late to that party. Uh, but... <laughs> But uh, Jeff, I've stayed in contact with all this time. Hey, buddy, and the rest of you, it's very nice to see. Hi, Josh. Nice. Hey, hi. Hi, Laura. Next up, Colleen. Hi, Ooh. I'm Colleen O'Shaughnessy, and I played Sora. I never got to be a Digimon. Like, lots of other people were, like, multiple moms, but I, I never was one until they let me be one in something, like, way, way later. They're like, all right, be this like dinosaur thing. But you were a human. <laughs> I they probably didn't even use it. They're just humoring me. But anyway, yeah, I played Sora. Yeah. <laughs> and last but not least, Brian with that fantastic quaffed beard. Tell us. Oh yes, thank you, thank you for noticing. Um, <laughs> hey guys, it's uh, uh, Brian Donovan, and I played Davis in season two and uh, the narrator in season three. And um, I now I know why Jeff was like, maybe we can meet for a tea after or not, because I clearly haven't put out for him. So I guess I got the nice. sort of not sure, can't commit. Um, he didn't have to kiss me, and she works for me all the time. I'm yeah, I don't time. work for you. <laughs> not even once. I have a Jeff who? <laughs> yeah, Jeff who? Jeff, what? I tried to get Jeff hooked up with a lady before. That didn't work out. All right, this is digivolving very rapidly. He, yes. <laughs> he, 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 he had to write him write it into a movie in order to make that happen. That's right. That's yeah. right. Brian, I can get Brian. <laughs> I can get Brian a woman in a second. It was like the main woman. reason, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right, Brian, quickly, so quickly de-digivolving. 
Yes, Brian Donovan and I starred in a movie that I wrote and directed called Famish. And uh, Famish. he plays the bad guy, which is crazy because he's the nicest guy who ever lived. So, <laughs> right, so now, I, yeah. now I will make that with you. See the movie, get famous, rent it, buy it. Go yes, it, it's Amazon. free. It's also free on uh, Tubi. I was going to say pirate it, but who no, pirates stuff you know, anymore? You don't have to pirate it. It's on well, Tubi te and Roku Technically, Roku right now, because Digimon is not on any streaming platforms. You technically have to pirate it. Unless you have the original, like, uh, I think the 2012 box set. I still have a VHS copy. <laughs> yes, you see, like a box set. I don't have a thing to play it on, but I still have <laughs> it. <laughs> I just have it on display. Right? Yeah. You right. have it in your, you know, for to get chicks. Next to poster. next to the Emmy and famous. Right? <laughs> <You're> like, hey, <laughs> by the way, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, but you were in everyone. Yeah, I, I, I wish I was Jeff Nimoy. Jeff Nimoy seems to be yeah. having a much better life. <laughs> but not everything. No, I'm just saying. If he's like, well, you know. I've been lot little kitties. I mean, a lot of little. Well, you see, now this is a conversation that we could segue to. Oh, because we can't really hear uh, Laura Summer, by the way. Oh, can oh. I be mic or just you, speak up? It's speak up. A, Come proper forward. mic placement, you know. Yeah, because the mic is literally. Oh, right. oh, oh, oh! What pointed at you? Well, it's pointed right there. Okay. Right. There we go. This is what it's like directing Laura Summer, by the way. We're in studio, people. By the way, in case you ever noticed, here. Uh, yeah. can I have the seat moved a little higher? Like, can I have like it moved a little closer? Oh, no, I'm not like oh. that anymore. Oh, okay, I well. do everything exactly. I am so easy to work with. Apparently, I feel like something's gonna happen in that room later. Endless Shadow saying. Art Studio on it's YouTube. Between Rob and yeah. yeah. That's, hey, that's, that's Endless that's Shadow Art Studio. I thought Digimon was on Hulu too. It was on Hulu. Well, oh. Yeah, yeah, they, they, yeah. Not they, the movie. Yeah. Though. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. And they took my name off the credits. Dag Nabbit. What the heck is that all about? Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not on. No, I'm not on the and end credit. I mean, I mean, when you pull up the information on Hulu at the top, and it's like starring. What? Don't think so who you used to be. Random sure. people. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but with that, ladies and gentlemen, you guys are absolutely ridiculous. And I love this. So within this, because of the segue, we're going to go around in a circle, like the little round panel. And we're going to talk about, besides Digimon, what other uh, IPs and other parts that you loved as much as you love Digimon. Because I know that you have a certain someone over here that you absolutely do love and besides your digimon roles you know a little, little um ghostbusters lot right here uh, yeah. so i guess we're gonna start with you and oh Dad. i hate why am i first <laughs> because you have the print in your hand oh my right. okay so a lot of you there are a lot of ghostbusters fans out there are real ghostbusters and i'm the og janine and um this is actually my favorite picture because she's giving a kiss and um I like that. <laughs> oh, snap, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. The only fans. You got to pay extra for that one. You got to pay extra for that. So, do I now do I sign something? Oh, well, no, we're just going to talk oh, about that. Talking. But we okay. can we can actually start on the signings, but next no, Jeff, that, you go for it. Well, Tell I'm, us what other... I'm probably more famous uh for playing um Wolfwood from Trigun than Tentomon for that matter, you know? So, uh it's a it's a big character for me. It was a cult show. Uh, I'm sure some of you were on it as well. And uh, it, it's been so many years, and Wolfwood is still like, I'll always see a Wolfwood cosplayer at every convention I go to. I, I, even, I even cosplay as Wolfwood and Famish. You, you, you know what I mean? You did. Yeah. I was, I was trying to cosplay as him, but making that big the cross. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Yeah. Yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> we're good. But that's I'm awesome. Seeing, there's uh, cosplayers everywhere for Wolfwood. Of, of everywhere. course. Right. Um, Ashua, I mean Joshua. <laughs> yeah. Ashua. Ashua. What so. was the question? The other stuff that we're known for? Yes. Yes. The other roles. Funny. Okay. No. I mean, obviously, when when I go to cons, the number one is is Ty. Uh, but there's a lot of fans of Akira, of which I am one. Akira, if you haven't seen it, I perhaps you can stream that on Hulu too. I it was on Hulu anyway. Uh, that <laughs> is my personal favorite anime movie of all time. I saw it when I was in film school at NYU, which Jeff also went to. Uh, and, and it's what made me want to be a voice actor. And so uh, mm. years later, Pioneer did it, and I was able to play the main role of uh, Tetsuo in that uh, against Johnny Yongbosh's Kaneda. 
so those two roles, plus uh, there's a show called Wolf's Reign that I played Hige in that people come up and ask to autograph those DVDs all the time. Uh, I had some small parts in uh, SpongeBob, SpongeBob movie. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, and you know, some other stuff like, uh, like these little guys. Oh, that's not showing up because he's green. <laughs> the alien, alien voices <laughs> in Toy Story. Go into the light. Go into nice. the light. Lots of random things. Young Knives in Trigun that Jeff was also in. Um, lots, lots and lots of stuff that I would have forgotten if not for the cons and the IMDb. Detectives, right? Yeah. <laughs> Colleen, yes. Um, I was Jazz on Danny Phantom. I played the Wasp on Avengers: Earth's Mightiest Heroes. I was Nell on Bleach. I play Eno and Konohamaru on Naruto. I was Chocho in Boruto. A bazillion video games. Um, and you might have heard of this little two-tailed fox guy named Tails. And I also, um, I've been him um, since 2014. I got to play Tails on the video games and the show Sonic Boom. And most recently, I got to play him in the movie. So nice. 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 All right. So, Brian and Doug, I'm going to take a pool stick. I'm going to snap it. And I'm going to just throw it at you guys. And you guys just go. He's, he's, Brian's like, I'm ready. All right. So, then Brian, go for it next. Because Doug's like, nah, I'm all right. Um, you're good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I won. I won with Rock. Uh, excuse me. Um, right. Right. Yes. Uh, yeah. So I play. You know, obviously Davis on Digimon, which is why we're all here. Thank you, everyone, for being here. All the fans really appreciate, it. especially Endless Shadow Art, who is actually one of my go-to artists for my uh, my stuff, and including this beauty, yeah. um, which right. I was signing. Yeah. I was right. signing yeah. limited edition. Josh, what's even more incredible about the artist Emily Shadow Art is he does a ton of stuff for me with charity. Um, so I really want to give him a nice shout out because uh, he's he's a great guy and an amazing artist. And it's actually one of my first signings, Rock Lee. Uh, he also did this one too. So oh, yeah, stunning stuff. And honestly, just a really kind of uh, surprising, amazing little gift, I think, with all these cons and all the... You know, all the you know the, the appreciation we get is just meeting these artists um, yeah. and these people that create stuff for the show is is just remarkable. Uh, anyway, that was a pivot. Uh, my career, my career has been a little all over the place. Um, I don't have these remarkable resumes that a lot of these other people do, as far as VO goes. Um, I did do the promos on uh, Disney for many, many years. Like, come on up next, and we'll be right back after these messages. And that was friggin' awesome and super, super fun. And a lot of you guys know me from uh, Naruto as Rock Lee, um, which is a big fan favorite and really just a spectacular, uh, another gift. I mean, really, truly, I mean, as some of these guys, I mean, even Digimon, right? I mean, this was 22 years ago and here we are celebrating, you know, the show and you guys, the fans, um, Rock Lee and Naruto the same. I mean, you know, when I started, I did not have any gray hair. <laughs> I don't even know if I had a beard or if I could grow a beard when I started this show. Right. Um, but, uh, you now know. Now we're all old. Yes, we're all yes. old. Yes. Um, oh. Even though a lot of us still sound like teenagers, which is why, you know, we do these kid shows, um, which is awesome. It's, right. it's, it's, it's that, that niche has been very good to me uh, and a lot of people here. So, uh, that's been fun. And then I pivoted. I, you know, I, I, my sister was born with Down syndrome. I made a documentary about her. And so that was like, you know, my singular focus for many, many years. Um, and that got on Showtime. And so I've been all over. And then my recent claim to fame, and I mean fame, I was in the movie Famish uh, that Jeff wrote and directed about the anime con community. So it's a blast. It's super fun. Um, it's heartfelt. Uh, there's a little bit in everything in there. And so, you know, we're really proud of that film and, you know, we shot it in, I mean, my God, like five days, you know, a hundred pages, like it was balls to the wall, you know, zero to 60 every day, especially with Jeff who was doing all the heavy lifting. Um, but that's really fun too. So anyway, you know, I've been all over the place, but it's been really fun and I've taken up too much time. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> and last up, Doug, go for it. Hey, hi, I'm still here. Can you guys actually hear me? Because, uh, no, no, no. okay, okay, good, good. Um, you guys might know me as a couple of the characters, Naruto, I play Asuma. Um, he has a Funko Pop, it's here someplace. 
Um, uh, Gi Nichimaru from Bleach, which I do have a new print. Wait, where did I put it? Which it's my oh, artist. Right I'm going gonna, gonna to pin Ooh. my artist, which my artist Lauren Kisich did for me. So that's pretty dope. Um, video games, uh, Street Fighter, I play Vega. Um, uh, Final cool. Fantasy, I play Squall. Uh, geez, what else do we do? We do a bunch of other stuff. Uh, oh, ooh, Loop on the Third, I play Zenigata. Uh, that's been going on for a while. A couple of other uh, uh, fun things. Let me think. Um, I was a Care Bear. That's probably oh, one of the things I'm most proud of. of Were you these. a Care Bear? I yeah, didn't know. Yeah, man. Care. I was. I was Grumpy Bear. Oh, um, Grumpy Bear. My, I, literally my oh, favorite yeah. role. Wow. Grumpy Bear and the Care Bears. It's uh, on Netflix. There's two seasons of it. So, yeah. uh, I'm sure I saw Shea, that with my kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stephanie Shea was Share uh, Bear. Oh my God, it was amazing. Michael Cinder Nicholas was Funshine Bear. It was great. It was great. It's so funny. The first. So time yeah. The, Go ahead. The first time I hugged you, Doug, I felt something. I wasn't sure. Right? Was Did you like, feel uh, it's just yeah, right? Know, there's something right? familiar about this. Well, too, Grump, you know? Grumpy Bear was was kind of the, the you know one of my one of my favorite roles because it was um you know I'm an asshole, so it kind of kind of worked <laughs> out for me. You know the the one bear that was kind of the jerk of all all the Care Bears. He was fun. So, <laughs> but um yeah, so doing a lot of uh, original animation stuff right now. I'm trying to find shows that. My four-year-old son is interested in, which is always fun. I just started working on some Hot Wheels stuff, so I'm pretty excited about that. Vroom, vroom. Nice, but um, yeah. yeah. So I'm doing a lot of segueing into original animation, and I'm developing my own shows. So. Ooh. Hey now, forward to that too. Yeah, well, I like hey, to draw. And stuff. Since this young gentleman directed you, maybe you might be directing him also. Maybe. Well, know. Jeff, I would have you play a transgendered caterpillar. <laughs> there you go. Typecast. Perfect. That's right. That so was the one role I could see you playing. I, I dig it. So What's that? that video in the top of the middle? Yeah, what is that? That, that one? Wait, wait. That is. This one? You mean this the one, one right here? Yeah, with hands. Yeah, it with looks like hands. your DJ. Yeah. This is why I love the segues. Yes. Because what we're going to be doing so now. So you can sign. We're going to be all signing because this is our signing table. So we're going to go and start uh, signing. So what we're going to do is everybody's going to be signing their uh, their individual orders on the stream. And then when you finish signing it, just hold it up. And whoever it's dedicated to, say who it's dedicated to. And while we're all doing that, we're going to be feeling out some of the answers. Oh. oh, I was gonna say maybe I can sign on this. Oh no! Well, we, oh, well, oh, we want okay. you to sign on the camera. There you go. Oh, I'm yeah, gonna be moving yeah. out of the way. Oh, so yeah. God, I and then while we're doing that, we're gonna be <laughs> feeling some of the questions that are in the YouTube, Facebook, and Twitch chat. Oh, it's like nice. on everything. Yeah, it's on. Oh, it's on everything. Wait, everything. we're all doing it at the same time. I've never done this with other people. At the same time, I you asked all questions. questions I should have brought protection. All, all right, so it's it's oh, fine. You know what? Um, you that have you. you you have your malware protection, so you're good. Uh. <laughs> you're, you're good. I love how Brian is like, huh, dad joke. Okay, so <laughs> so the first one we're gonna go through while you guys are signing on here in the studio, we're gonna go and sign for Jeff. We have Pyra number the first one. That's P Y P H Y R R A, and there's no special instruction. Pyra. Pyra. Hi, Pyra. Oh, it's Pyra. I like. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. And then while you're making out to Pyra, this is no instructions, just make it out. While we're doing that, uh, Lara, we have you on the first one. This is out to Kevin. And it says, special instructions, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. They want to that? Because that was why I called that. I mean. Okay. Wait, I'm sorry. Was I, Did I have special instructions? No. Oh, you had no, no special instructions. I have special instructions. Yeah, I, I got you. I got you. We're, we're going back and forth. So right here, okay. you would either sign, and we have a black mark as well. Okay. So just like he's doing, okay. we we'll sign it. Bam, look at the camera. Bam, look at Oh, my God. In, 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 the, in the words of this Digimon <laughs> signing, oh, my God. This is amazing. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, if you want more friends, don't forget to go to streamly.com slash Digimon and get your prints right now from your favorite talent. That's awesome. 
Thank you, Fire. <laughs> so I we, think I have to use silver. Again. Sure. Okay. Yeah, we have the silver. Yeah, I, got, I got some touch. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> so we have that one Hold for on. you, Hold Jeff. On, Brian. All right, let me. Brian, you're, let me you're completely. Done. You're com completely silenced. <laughs> <laughs> He's cursing me out right now. I read lips. What? How dare you? Uh, <laughs> and while she's signing that. She is signing this one for Kevin. Um, so, Jeff, yes. we have our next one, which is for Angel E. No, we're not going to run in with John. Oh, oh well, yeah, we're, yeah, we're going to start doing it. I just want to get. Are, we, wait, are uh, we waiting for you to call him out, or should just we go to the signing assistant and just hold him up when we're done? Yes. Hold, hold, oh, signing assistant. Say uh, when it's done. Say hey, this was for such so a size got, person. Look at Josh. Josh is like, yeah, I'm ready. I like to make <laughs> cards. I'm ready for it. Uh, Brian, who was that for? <sighs> Brian. All right. All right. Now yeah. I understand. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Perfectly. This Hold is for Kevin. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. And that's that. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that is that. So I'll take this off of your hand. <laughs> There we go. That sounded something so like we that. have Kevin over here. There we go. So if anybody has any other orders, just literally just pop it up and say that. So we're going to be there's another uh, one. Um, right now. This is a lot going on. Oh, absolutely. Well, I, I just want to say, Angel, thank you so much. Here you go. I don't know where you are in the uh, chat over here on this side. <laughs> oh, on this side. Sorry, my parents, but thank you so much. <laughs> right there, and then go to the oh. main camera. Oh, there we go. Oh, and I didn't say thank you to Kevin, so who I just signed for, like I wasn't as gracious as Jeff <laughs> here. So thank you so much. And thank you all for coming and hanging out with us. I mean, this is our first time, so we don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, and then you're going to have a blast. This next one is for Daniel. And Daniel. no special instructions. So, okay, so this is Daniel, but unsigned, and uh, I'll sign it. And yeah. well, what we have, about those guys? We have Colleen over here. Colleen, who is that made to? I don't know who it's to because there's no two, but uh, they said, <laughs> could you please inscribe your favorite saying from now? All she did was cry and said, <laughs> <"Eat the eagle." laughs> So that's what I put. I put, eat the eagle. <laughs> so that's what I did. So, Thank you, whoever wanted this one. <laughs> All right. Uh, even though it's a Digimon signing, this is a super fan of Wolf's Rain. So it's up. Here we go. Wolf's Rain to Zezzy. And Zezzy says, Hige is my absolute favorite character. Thank you very much. It was my first anime. And she even, or this person even has a tattoo. Wow. A Wolf's Rain tattoo of my character. That's awesome. Please uh, tag me, post that, and tag me on on the uh, the social medias because I would like <laughs> to see that. So here is this for you, Desi. Yes, I'm actually gonna go into one of them. This one right here is um, made out to no one. Uh, this is actually a Streamly VIP, Justin. So thank you for being a VIP for Streamly. Um, and uh, this is and this is a Rock Lee by uh, my artist pal, Endless Shadow Art. Uh, Josh, and he said I could put anything I want, so I put you rock, Leaf Hurricane, and I will even give you the shout out by Rock Lee. Leaf Hurricane! Yeah! <laughs> love it! Wow! 3D. You have 3D. One as well. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Justin. I really appreciate it, my man. Uh, oh, and also, this is just so you guys know this one and this cool print are actually on a canvas paper. So what? It's oh, wow. super cool. It's like there's texture to it, and it's like it's pretty yummy stuff. Uh, which is why it's a little bit of a premium. But um, anyway, as I said, Joshua and I try to raise a lot of money for ch charity. So thank you guys, and thank you, Justin, for ordering. Nice. And uh, this is for Daniel. Thank you so much, Daniel. Um, and I just uh, signed it and for Janine. And thank you so much. Excellent. And while we are still signing, I have this question from YouTube. Uh, uh, right here, question from David Zanji from YouTube. Question for all. What inspired you to become voice actors? While you're signing, you could just tell us your answer. Uh, Colleen inspired me to do 
Actually, my my I'd like to give a shout out to my dad who passed away uh, just this past year um, because he was uh, a radio psychologist like Frazier. Oh, wow. So really, it was it was that because when I was a kid, uh, I would go to the radio station and sit in while he would you know answer questions like we're doing live now on on video. You know, he would do it on the radio. And he built a psychological practice that way, which I was not interested in. I was interested in the radio show part. So when I went to college, I had my own radio show. And I wasn't thinking in terms of being a voice actor, but I was not I was thinking in terms of maybe being a DJ and doing funny voices because I would call and prank, call myself and do voices as though I were someone else. A young man, you know, like that's like, did you play Klezma music? It's a college radio station, ma'am. That kind of stuff. And anyway, that's how I put the the... The demo together to get an agent once i saw akira my brain moved toward actually voicing animation but it was from radio initially nice. uh, i just want to show this to the top of oh, yeah, there you go tap yeah. and uh this is wolfwood's famous death speech spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, <laughs> he dies. I mean, the, the series is 30 years old, so he if dies? you haven't seen it yet, but spoiler alert, I don't want to die. There we go. So, next up, you have this is Sora. You guys can keep talking, Colleen. Go for it. This is Sora. This is for Patrick. Um, he didn't have any special requests, but I always put a heart for Sora because you know, or, wait, this way. There she is. <laughs> There, I did it. Um, and I got into voiceover because I was doing uh, musical theater and I didn't know what I wanted to do. And some, I always just kind of did voices. It sort of came out of me. And someone came running over and said, hey, was that you? And I said, sorry, that just happens. They said, no, you need to do voiceover. And I went, what? You're right, I do. <laughs> um, so here I am 20 plus million years later. But you want to hear something interesting? I'm sorry. Sure. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. I directed the Google Voice, you know, uh, you know Siri and Google, you know, uh, the the ways voice and all that. And really? I, I auditioned Colleen. I wanted. I, I I I pushed hard for Colleen to be that voice. You. They ultimately said no, but Colleen could have been coming out of everyone's phone. Can you imagine? Uh, she still is, but you know, in real life. I did. Like so. We have, did not we have another question from YouTube. This is from Dominic Vale. Question for Laura. Who's yeah. your favorite TK? Wendy or Doug? Yes. Oh! I've been obsessed with Potter Monster's oh! childhood. Oh, snap! <laughs> you got put on that. I'm out of here. Wow. I'm out of here, he said. Wow, that hurt a little bit. Yeah. That had to hurt. Thank you, goodbye. I didn't even know there were more than one. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Because when you do this, when we did the show, we work by ourselves, but I, right. we work individually, which a lot of people don't know. Um, well, there was little TK and big TK, and That's they're true. different. Right. They're just different. Right. I'm, a, uh, I'm a friend of Wendy Lee, little TK, so I know her. And Doug, I'm just yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, How can I ask this in the going. right way? <laughs> no, I was pointing at you for your instructions. Oh, okay. Thank you. I, I'm, I am directly. Yeah, but... <laughs> I'm not saying anything. No, I, I love yeah. Doug, and I love Doug's acting. I just never met him before now, and I'm not yeah. really meeting him now. I mean, I well, I let me let me tell you something, Laura. If you would have met me back in the day, you were. I'd have destroyed you. <laughs> it's true. Nice. I had a ponytail. So. Oh yeah. Jeff, I don't know. Jeff can attest. Oh yeah, Doug. I mean, well, for me, the difference between Wendy and Doug is, uh, Wendy's directed me and Doug, and I used to be Doug's wingman. And. Uh, oh. I mean, I, I never. Like got, I needed a wingman. I, yeah, I never got the action, but you know, a lot of women came and ignored me while they were talking. Doug, so that was nice. But Wendy never, I was never Wendy's wingman, so uh, that's my difference. You know? and when so Wendy that's two down on Doug? Doug got just two down? She did. She <laughs> Wendy was the first director of uh, Digimon. She Because right. we did a show called, um, what was the Pink Flying Pig show? <laughs> <laughs> the, pig, the Flying Pig show? Oh, pig, I know that. Right. So Tokyo Pig. Tokyo Pig, right? Tokyo Pig. 
was it Colleen, were you on that show? Yeah, yeah, I was on it too. Was it called? Yeah, okay. I wrote something. They, no, this wasn't anything, and they, they never aired. It was oh. uh, basically. <laughs> just, I think it's called. I, I, think I, yeah. that I I had done voiceovers, and I had I, I came out of theater really. And when I came in here, and somebody said, "Oh, you should meet my friend friend Rita," and she said, "Here, read this." And I did a little monologue, oh, and she said, "Oh, you're going to be uh, Super Pig." That was it. Hi, mom. I don't relate to that, mom. Right <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Can I can I call you back, mom? Is Doug talking? Oh, he's to actually talking to his mom. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Hi, Doug's mommy. Um, we love you. He actually was talking to his mom right now. He's like, like listen, that. honey, I'm ordering something and I need you to give me some information. I'm like, I'm online right now, right? Oh, that's fine. <laughs> Just like, oh, okay. I, I have to you do know, a, I have to do a call out for. I don't know what order to go in with these game. things. This is uh, Hercules Cabotaramon. <laughs> Giga Scissor uh, Claw! Let me do that last. You want to do that? Yeah, sure. Yeah, do a laugh because it'll be uh, awesome. Uh, Colleen, you ready? Oh, if anything, we could just. Yeah, we could just I have one for. Um, on so I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this correctly. So, because it's spelled like Don't Enrique, but with an H. So, do you pronounce the H? Do you not? So, it's Henrique or Enrique. I'm not sure. Um, but he wanted me to. This is. A tales print, um, believe in yourself from your pale tale. So I did that, and then he wants me to say in tales's voice. Uh, all right, what do you guys think? H e n r i q u e, Enrique or Henry? Enrique. Enrique. Okay, yeah. that's what I thought. But there's an H. Okay, sorry. It's probably silent. Oh, hi, hi, Enrique. It's a silent H, but you have to think. Brazil. Hey. <laughs> like, talk over my tales, dude. Yeah, oh, yeah. But like, yo, tails will chop your head off with his tail. Uh, All right, I'm gonna do it again because it was uh, Toby McGuire. Okay, ready and beep, beep, beep. Yes. Bye, Enrique. A big hug to Brazil. Woo! <laughs> nice. Very nice. Have, have I have one to. Uh, I have one to quad. This is a pretty spectacular print, uh, if I might add, because. My man, uh, too much art, JJ. Uh, he did him as pop, as a Funko Pop, even though a pop doesn't exist as of yet. Uh, he did it as a Funko Pop, super cool. This was ordered by another VIP for Streamly, uh, Quad. So, thank you, Quad. He said I could put anything I wanted, so I said, Digi Armor Energize. Um, thank, right. you, thank you, thank you, thank you for watching the show and um, maybe being here today. I'm not sure if you are or not, but uh, thank you, and whoever else is here. I All got right. one from Quad as well. So let's Whoa, move on. Quad! That, that last one that I did for Zezzy is also VIP. I didn't know that was a thing. But uh, this is also a VIP from Quad, uh, who also said to put whatever you want. So I wrote here. You can see it. Oh, that's mm. cool. What's a few raindrops between friends? <laughs> there you go. Nice. Ah, one nice. Of, one of the famous tie lines. So I got one here for Willow. That's it's like Inspector Zenigata from Loop on the Third. And they said the same thing, put whatever you want. Uh, uh, Zenigata chasing Loop on. So I did, get back here, Loop <laughs> oh, yeah. on! Thank you, guys. Thank you, Willow. Uh, enjoy. <laughs> no doubt. And we have another question on YouTube by Disney uh, and Yuyaman. <laughs> That's that's a great name. Um, to Doug, which Disney couple would you want TK and Kari to double date with? Ariel and Eric? Ooh. Belle and Beast? Aladdin and Jasmine? Or Hercules and Meg? You know, I think the 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 first, uh, my first thought would be, well, where, where, where'd the question go? Where'd the question go? I can't see it. I can't see oh, the couples right. anymore. I, will put the I would say, Ari I would say, I would say uh, Ariel and Eric. I got to be honest with you. Um, I think that they'd have more in common. I mean, to be honest with you, it'd be great to see Beast and TK, you know, interact, you know, like the guys go off to the bathroom together and the girls go off to the bathroom and, you know, they're like, hey, talking about, you know, I could just imagine TK looking up at Beast being like, so, uh, so how's it going with you and, uh, <laughs> you know, Bella? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, Beast being like, yeah, how about you and Kari? That he talks like that, so. So I don't know. What do you think? Latin, Jasmine, maybe. I don't know. 
That'd be a fun double date on a magic carpet, right? <laughs> <laughs> Go to a drive-in. Life is a drive-in. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh, this is for Charles Nguyen, Nguyen, Nguyen again. Uh, Charleston, Charleston, sorry. Charleston for the win-win. Uh, he asked me what my favorite episode of Digimon is. Um, it's Family Picnic, where I played Roachmon. And uh, this is my other favorite right here, starring Brian Donovan, famous. Nice. Right. And, Laura? and uh, this is for the Frog Brothers. I did their podcast. It's a great podcast. They live somewhere like in Nebraska, I think. And we had a good time. It was really interesting. And this is my Janine for the Frog Brothers. Follow them. The and Frog Brothers. <laughs> the brothers and their brothers. Frogs. I the, know. They're, that's from uh, Lost Boys. <laughs> The Frog Brothers are from Lost Boys, right? Go I ahead. love that movie. I have one here from Gregory uh, with no special instructions. So I wrote, Gregory Digivolve. Whoosh. There you go. Gotta love that. Like you guys, you guys are not only entertaining, but you guys are on fire with signing these. Like uh, Co Colleen, right? like she has this like focus, like I am going to write the heck out of my autograph right now. <laughs> And you see, you see, Joshua's like every time he signs, he gives you that blue steel look into the camera, like, hey. <laughs> hey, Rob, uh, is there any way you can verify for my order thirty nine if there's no name? Because I'm on my phone here and I can't see it. I don't think there is. If there's not, then I'm good yeah. to go with Leaf Hurricane for somebody. Uh, they said I could write uh, Leaf Hurricane in green, so there you go with my signature underneath. Rock Lee, that's my last pop. Dude, you know what's so crazy or do that, or I'm not sure who you are, but um, I was so, when I realized that you ordered one of these, I was like, oh my God, do I have any pops left? Oh, I don't know if I have any pops. And I had the last one. So this is your last pop. Thank you for ordering. Thanks for being a fan of the show. I really appreciate it. That will be coming to you via really soon. Uh, I'll deliver and then I'll deliver to you in a couple of weeks. Thank you. Thanks for ordering. Thanks for watching the show. Um, thank you for being you, Brian. Thank you, Brian. Uh -huh. Now, Rob, is that okay, right? 39 was uh, no name, right? Yeah, uh, let me double check on that. But if there is no name, then you should be good to go. Yeah. I'll double check on that right now. Yeah, sorry, I'm uh, just on the phone, and it looks like it's cut off, so I can't really tell. And since we're asking that, uh, we have a question for... Uh, hold on. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, you're asking? This is for Ainsley? Super shocker! Nice. I have two tails. Is one for Sully and Ian. Ooh, nice. nice. And I have a question right here by Disney in your mind. Yeah, I'm in again. Oh, again. Where would your Digimon characters go to Disneyland or <laughs> Disney, uh, Walt Disney World? And what would be your favorite memory? Oh, very nice. I, um, <laughs> I think mine would go to Universal. That's awesome. Well, pretend them on. I'd go to the Bugs Life exhibit. Of course. Uh, I David just keeps asking for a digital Disney experience, and this, you know, the, there's. I think they're building it out now, so he's gonna wait for his digital <laughs> Disney World. Uh, yeah, he's a purist. He's a purist. Time out. Just to let you know, Brian, number 39, that Funko Pop, it was made out to Vicky. To Vicky. Oh. V-I-C-K-Y. V-I-C-K-Y. Thank you so much. Not a problem. And this is to Colin, who I think I know. And I mean, I do know. And uh, it's my Janine. And she's blowing a kiss. I know. That's not the one I have to kiss. That's no. The, I'm going to say the one I have to kiss for Yes, for last. last, yes. I don't know who this is for because there was no two, but this is a jazz for oh, somebody. Cute. Number 69. Hey, Vicky, I added your name and a little love heart at the bottom. We're oh, all doing hearts. That's yeah. So um, thank you, Vicky. Thank you very much. Yep. We've got a, a Thai and Agumon for Daniel. There you go, Daniel. Absolutely. There we go. Like you guys are on the, oh, the roll. Like you guys, 
Do you but, usually do so many of us at once? Um, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, we're, we're all, all we are all professionals, especially uh, here at Streamly, where you get your fantastic prints. Just go to streamly.com slash Digimon and get your prints right now. Like, yeah, speaking of, speaking of prints, I have another one jealous uh, shadow off me. It's that groovy canvas paper. Um, it's a limited edition, but super sweet. Uh, and there, how do I get that all in? There we go. Um, anyway, this next one goes out to Chris. He said I could do anything I want or none, uh, so I will do whatever I want. But anyway, thank you. Thanks for ordering, Chris. Really appreciate it. Love it. Here's another now. This is for Pepe. Thank you, Pepe. <laughs> Kyle, Colleen, I swear, like, if I didn't know you, I would literally think that you were, like, tails is, like, age. You were just, like, timeless. <laughs> the way that you are, you have way more energy well, than I do, you. and I am like, let me not, let me you not. Could be, you could be your son. I'm <laughs> super old. I'm yeah. kind of super old. Yeah. Oh, okay. to know. I don't like to be rude. No, 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 I don't feel worry. like I'm being rude. But. So, okay, <laughs> this is to Omar from Janine Melnitz. Hello, Ghostbusters. And um, thank you, Omar. Thank you so much for your support. And I hope you love it. And I'll hand it over to the next actor. And this is for Nathan, a little uh, Wolfwood action from Trigun. Peace, love, and donuts, bro. Ow. Peace, love, and donuts. That's from Trigun. Oh, he's does it. Oh, man, I got I to gotta get back on my Trigun. I've got this one made out to no one, so expect to see this on eBay. I have this one for Brian. There's a wasp. There were no special instructions. But... Oh, thank you so much, Colleen. It's very you sweet. You're I can't welcome, you Brian, because I thought maybe you could be a little waspy in your world. I'm going to do one for you, too. Oh, thanks. Can I, do, can I get a little XOs at the bottom? It's, no, it's not for me. Anyway. Uh -huh. I have a uh, Digimon, I mean a, uh, yeah, Digimon uh, season two Davis uh, headshot on my uh, desk that he gave to me after Famish. It says, thank you for making me Famish. And I keep it right there. I look at you every morning, all day long, Brian, I stare at you. Oh man, I love you so much. I'm gonna keep you in the Beautiful house. eyes. Oh, <laughs> go, Chris. Oh, much like Rachel's. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Uh, super shocker. Thanks, Rachel. I appreciate this. Thanks. <laughs> I know Doug loves the segue. I know it's the super shocker when you say it. It just kind of cracks me up. Doug, I don't know why. I don't know why. You didn't even know I was in this. You didn't even know I was an actor, did you, Doug? <laughs> Wait, who are you? <laughs> He's like, who are you? He said, wow. I'm your second favorite ADR director. Well, um, I mean, all the others are tied for first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Jeff listened to one interview that I did, and because yeah. I didn't say he was the best director ever, he, is the he best texts director me and he's ever. like, What is I can't believe I, that you I was just that fucking you. I was just fucking surprised. Tony Oliver, who is your boy, uh, Tony is a longtime friend. I've known Tony longer than you. So. You're better. Thank you. Oh, okay. Tony. Anyway, anyway. You're definitely better than Tony. Yeah, but but Crazy. but what have you direct what have you directed? <laughs> like since Yeah, what have you directed me in? TK, a little kid. Chavo, and baby. Chop well Ouch. Pico. Chop. Pico, that's true. That's true. But Chavo. I mean, were those really were those really meaty <laughs> acting roles? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Okay, Ladies and gentlemen, wait. let the studio talk. Right okay. Now. So this is made out to no one. But they wanted me to say good night, Busta. And um, so I signed it. Love, Janine, Laura Summer. Uh -huh. <laughs> we have another question that's in the chat right now. Um, this question is from Bond Love 863 on YouTube. Question Say one of the characters uh, be, uh, become trapped with you for a day. How would it go? Director, say one of your characters became trapped with you for a day with ourselves. Yeah, well, yeah, one of the characters that you voice, or it could possibly just I, be one of the Digimon characters. I would just tell him to shut up. Oh, I'm good God, <laughs> I wouldn't call him out of my voice box ever. <laughs> I would just give Patamon something to eat. I'd say, Let's go, <laughs> eat. let's go have a picnic. I'd say, 
Gentlemen, time for your bubble bath. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be I wouldn't mind being trapped with Motimon, which is one of the little characters I voiced. Motimon, the kids are so cute. It sounds like a squishy little marshmallow. Why are we trapped? Where are we trapped? Are we like we are are we like Yeah, yeah. What's the or? is this like you're, a you're probably room? you're probably trapped in <laughs> like we're um, both trapped. No, like trapped well, like in the limbo of the digital world and the human world. Ah. Uh -huh. Uh, I, think so. <laughs> I know. We'll go get some avocado toast. And, <laughs> I, don't know. I just want to say. She probably likes me. Boba, so I'd take her with my daughter. Boba. He's the number one Trigun fan. Thank you for asking for this. And here you go. So, hold on, time out. Colleen, are you trying to say that the realm between the Digi world and the human world is Burbank? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it is. It's where everything was recorded. It's where the magic happened. I thought it was purgatory. Um, yeah. yeah. It's the metaverse. It's the metaverse. You can get boba anywhere, though, right? So it could be somewhere well I don't know. There are a lot of good uh, questions. Yeah. Uh, hey, Josh, uh, did you expect to ever get back to voiceover after your illusion theater career? Quickly, because I don't know. This is a, a real question for me. Where's the question? Oh, so that yeah, where's the question? It's not real. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's yeah. not real until it's on this. Well, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I'm still touring with my live show and my mentalism show, which is why I left voiceover. So, because I couldn't do both. They were like, you have to stay in LA. We couldn't do remote. Now we can do remote, but now I just haven't figured remote. out how. Now I just, somebody needs to teach me how to do it and I would do it. But <laughs> in the years, so what you mean? That's all you you're need doing to do. it right now. You're doing I mean, it. I have a question. So I don't know how to use whatever you guys use to, like to make that work. I don't I honestly don't know how it works, but somebody tell me at some point and I'll do it. You're Anyhow, right uh, yeah, I just did. I just did. You're like the director. You're like the I, I didn't hear the real answer is I never stopped doing Thai. I did all the Tri movies. I did Trigun. I flew back to LA on my own dime and did all of those because I love the show, I love the character, and I've got kids and I wanted to keep it as me. Um, I only stopped doing the other stuff because I had to leave LA to tour and I've continued touring. I did 10 shows in, uh, in Canada just last week. I was touring in New York the week before that and I'm starting my college tour in a couple of weeks. So yeah, I love, I, like Colleen, I didn't mention this, but if you go way back, like Colleen, I really started as a musical theater kid. Like. I was lucky enough to be a part of many touring Broadway casts as a kid when they would tour through the Midwest. They'd pick up the yeah. oh, how, yeah, jazz hands for all the musical theater kids. Yes. Uh, yes, it was all right. Many uh, whenever people ask, how do I get into voiceovers? Well, start with singing. So you train your voice. So I started on the stage in live theater and I've always loved it. And the, and I never wanted to stop. And that's the choice I had to make at the time was to leave L.A. to continue touring for live well, theater. So we're doing both. <laughs> I think, uh, you know, I Can think. I answer that for, question now? For, oh, sorry. Yeah. I was just going to say, I think for, uh, for anybody out there, I and I think everybody, all of us would say the same thing is you got to gobble up every single opportunity that you can. And often that does start in school, you know, with the offerings at school with little productions and musicals and things like that. And that is the gateway. And so if you are serious about pursuing this and you're still in school, take advantage of those opportunities because uh, that is, that really is the start for most of us. You know, we all, I think we most probably all of us did musicals at some point High school. in our career, you know? And then in college, I, I was a DJ and, and that's kind of what really, you know, just kind of stuck the glue all together. And, and certainly my voice career, I think, you know, just kind of catapulted at that point. And I got really uncomfortable in front of the mic and doing, you know, starting all that off. And that's that's the thing. I mean, what you forget about uh, often is just the, fundam the fundamentals of what we do, which is, you know, the voice is a muscle like everything else. Right. So you've got to work it out. You have to find opportunities or make opportunities for yourself to work it out. And, you know, one of the tricks that you can do for any of the fans that are interested is, you know, you read a book or graphic novel and you do the voices of the characters yes. um, throughout, yeah. you know. You just work it's your muscle every day. Uh, and that's a great exercise that anybody can do any time in the day. Um, and and the other thing is, you know, the cherry on top is you do have to do something every single day towards your career or you will not make it. I mean, that is just, yes. that's the fact. I mean, maybe you can take Sundays off or if you're Jewish Saturdays, I mean, whatever, but you know, but you got to work it out at least five days a week. You got to do something every single day towards your career or the business of your career which is a huge part about the career that no one talks about. Um, yeah, but anyway, those are just a little 
a little segue because I know a lot of fans often ask or are curious. Uh, that, yeah. That reading out loud what you said, that that's number one. Read I read out loud every day to my kids. Before I had kids, I read all the Harry Potter books out loud, doing all the characters as they mm. came out, just because I like to hear the sound of my own voice. Yeah. But those characters, <laughs> if, you the, if you drop the accent, those characters, now you have them in your head. You have a villain from Snape, right, that you've been doing from books. Anybody can do this no matter where you live. Just find a book, especially of fiction, and do the characters out loud. But like Brian said, every day. And I still do that every day. Speaking of every day, every day I get letters from fans like this. I know. Rick Colin, one of the great Colleen, you got to go? I got to go. I oh, have to go on. be Boruto. Hey, oh, so like, you know, ah, nice to meet you. It was a pleasure. Hey, I didn't realize you were going, Colleen. I, I wouldn't have go. I got to go. That's okay. I'm going to answer that question really fast that somebody put up there. Um, yeah. They asked how, what it was like working on the movie. It was amazing. The best yeah. thing ever. I felt like Cinderella. Um, the difference uh, between working on the games versus the movie was the scale, really, the scope, uh, where Tails finds himself. Like in the games and stuff, their relationship is already established, whereas in the movie, we're meeting them meet each other for the first time, which was amazing and awesome. And But yes, amazing experience. I highly recommend it. <laughs> it was awesome. And if you want it behind the scenes, Colin did an awesome, awesome social media campaign as far as like, you know, behind the scenes at the premiere. You know, it's really fun. So if you're not following Colin, you should. Wow. If you want to get like the inside scoop on like what it's like to be a part of that celebration and production at that level. It's it's, it's fun. Really fun. I never thing. walked a red carpet before. I mean, that was just. It was crazy. But it was One awesome. last thing I'd like to say about Colleen before she leaves. Uh, I figured out that the person I worked with more than any other actor was Colleen. Oh. And it's been my pleasure every second, Colleen. My pleasure, too. I think, like, every incarnation of Digimon ever, yeah. we worked together. And then Susie, she's a favorite. Oh, from, Susie. Uh, That's right. I just wrote about that in a blog coming out Thursday. You did? Yeah. Oh, fun. <laughs> All right. Well, I love you guys. I'm so sorry I got to go, but I. Right. Thank guys, you for coming. Right. Everybody in the chat, put down some fire emojis. Put down fire emojis for Colleen right now for her having to leave. Everybody in the chat, put in your fire emojis. Thank you, Colleen, for joining us. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, go to streamy.com slash Digimon to get some of your prints from Colleen and Shaughnessy. And my whole name is here. Back to Rick F. Thanks. Go for it. Thanks for the sweet note. There you go. Uh, I got one. Uh, there's no name on it. I might have to verify, Rob. I apologize again. I'm on my phone, so I can't really see everything, it seems. But what number? Uh, this, this is to, to nobody, I guess. A uh, number 41 for me. And uh, they said, yep, oh, You're good. Nobody. All right. Nobody. I mean, no, no, not, not didn't mean like that. Not nobody. I know you're somebody out there. So <laughs> thank you. But it said, Ah, oh, that is better. Now I will. I actually changed it to I will instead of owl because Rockley doesn't contract. So I got to be pure on this one, but uh, <laughs> I will be able to move freely. And uh, there's my signature in Rock Lee. Uh, thank you so, so much. Super cool print of Rock Lee kicking Gara's arse. Uh, <laughs> Laura? And uh, this is a Janine for Matt. And he didn't want me to say anything. Hello, you all, you Ghostbusters. So <laughs> thank you, Matt. Thank you so much for your support and coming to the stream. I've uh, I've got one for Bones here. Bones asked me to write one of my favorite lines. I hope you can read it. I wrote a lot of stuff on here, but it says, I have a foolproof plan. First, we eat something. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that sounds like a Davis line, not a tie line. <laughs> That's a tie line. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I noticed. I'm, I'm trying to wonder. Now I'm wondering if you did like my voice for some of those Harry Potter reads. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure Harry? I came along before TK on Davis and all those guys. Yeah, Ty was first. Well, see, you guys, you guys first are lucky because episode. your speaking voices are kind of in that, yeah, in Same that pop. ballpark pocket. Because they're lazy. Squeeze, I have to squeeze the stuff. Well, uh, Jeff, I gotta tell you Jeff for Tentamon. I gotta tell you, though, Doug, from, Doug, when we did Chavo together. You did three or four voices that you could not tell it was the same person. They were right. all three, and they were all three hilarious. And I don't think there's ever been a single performance that I thought was funnier in anything I've ever directed than you in Java. Oh. So for, for everybody that is unaware, 
El Chavo is this amazing story from Mexico that started, I think, in the 70s, 70s yeah. late 70s, 70, yeah. And so it was a live action show, kind of like, I would almost have to compare it to Carol Burnett as far as like all these adults playing kid characters. Mm -hmm. And the, the creator played this boy named Chavo, the kid, and he lived in a barrel in the middle of this uh, courtyard with all these apartments. <laughs> and so this thing be became this juggernaut, this beloved show. And then they did an animation, an animated version of it in Spanish, of course. And uh, we dubbed it in English. Yeah. And it was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. <laughs> uh, Mona Marshall played Chavo. Uh, yes. Laura yes. Post was in it. You're in it. Tara Platt's yeah. in it. So many uh, um so many, too many people to, to name. Yeah. It was great, great talent. I mean, I it was, it was, you know, it was one of those shows where it was like all those voices had been so established, right. and they really, you know, they really used them for the the Spanish animation. Right. And so, you know, we wanted to do honor them, but we also kind of, kind of did our own thing, <laughs> don't you think? I mean. <laughs> You're, I mean, you're when I was a little kid, you that you played Chavo's friend and Nemesis. Kiko, Kiko, Kiko. I mean, they did not do what you did in Spanish, <laughs> what you did in English. No way. Kiko was um, Cartman cranked up right. to 11. Yes, exactly. Kind of, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's kind of, you know, like this guy. <laughs> oh, mama, oh, <laughs> mama. <laughs> Yeah. This is to Chris, who's also a oh, pizza plasm. I don't know how you say it, but I do know who Chris is, and he's been really helpful with my social media. <laughs> so, Chris, thank you so much. He helped me like with Instagram because I it's just not intuitive to me. And um, so here's my Janine hugs and kisses to you and thank you so much chris and chris has a great podcast too and it's uh pizza p-l-a-z-m and check it out he does it with a guy named john whose last name is out of my head at the moment <laughs> <laughs> uh i'm looking at some of these questions over here dominic veal question for jeff my tv once glitched and tentomon digivolved into garudamon I assume that was unintentional. I think that was unintentional on your TV. I don't think that actually happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if we're going to be talking about things that were unintentional. Yes. Um, because I was I was in that age range that it was like, oh, yeah, um, Pikachu could so get his butt kicked by uh, Guru we, we, we don't say uh, uh, the, the P uh, word. We don't say the P word uh, in front of Digimon. Oh, so sorry. So Yellow Rat could get his butt kicked <laughs> by, by Guru Mon. And I remember season two, right? There was this episode that I don't know what happened, but you can literally hear a little kid in the background talking while one of the Digimon were talking. And it was it was just a slight it has to be intentional. There's no way. Yeah, because yeah. I'm literally hearing um uh Wonder Pokemon, I mean Digimon talk all I hear all of a sudden I hear <laughs> oh no, oh no. I'm like, that's not part of the program. Are you sure it wasn't? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I can't see what like, slipping past the the sensors, slipping past the goalie on. Right. Hey, must know. have been while I was on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> so, must have been, been one of the ones when directed, director. Right? Or, or so, so rich or <laughs> that car. Electric or electricity rodent. Exactly. That's what he is. Joshua, I see that you got. You're trying to like slow bring. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to interrupt. <laughs> here, here it is. Uh, I have one from. Uh, from Nina with two eyes. Nina Digivolve. Nice. There you go. Mm. Thank you, Nina. No, I like Joshua. this print because it's got Ty through the ages. Uh, oh, Joshua, nice. I, yeah. I see that you uh, like Ty has amazing hair and you have amazing hair as well. Like, <laughs> would you ever grow your hair out to be Ty Lang? I think those days uh, have uh, passed. <laughs> yes, I, I don't know that I could anymore i i'm lucky that i still got it honestly here you yeah. still got well, it you can josh believe me yeah <laughs> jeff is showing off his uh, I, sheep. yeah i don't know that i got the jeff sheep. hair growing uh capabilities <laughs> yeah jeff's yeah. hair spray it's just not what this was <laughs> yeah. yeah jeff how do you not have any gray 
What is up? I, do, I do have some gray over here and in the beard, but really, no, not that much. I'm, I'm, you know what it is? It's because you're single. Guy. I think it's I'm the oldest one. That's good. I'm single with no kids. Exactly right. Single with no kids. It is. Uh, that is why. I yeah. yeah. I started losing my hair when when my second child was born. It was too, yeah. too many I'm swear to God. Same. Yeah, it's true. Uh, look at that head of hair on top. Second, second child took me. Uh, I'm going mine out Nicole. like you. Oh, I'm going out like you. But my God, it got great. Look, the pandemic did too. Look at this one. This one touches my heart. Thank you so much. This uh, this is from I don't know. Uh, sorry, Rob. I need to check forty three. But <laughs> I, I got you, bro. But, uh, but this, if you can believe it, is actually by this artist, Too Much Art, who I've mentioned already. It's Too Much underscore Art. That's his handle. But he actually Josh. made this for it's me. Josh. That is me as Rock Lee as a phone call, Bob, mm, which uh, just kind of blows me later with it. And this order is like, hey, I saw this on JJ, who's the artist's uh, site, and I had to have it. I'm going to put it on my desk at work. So, Jeff. Just like you, yeah. a little me as a Funko Pop because he got the gray hair, right? So the gray beard. I like that you're using a green, like for, for the last move. Uh, hold on, there it is. And I put, yeah. uh, I put you rock. Love your ninja way. Never give up. Um, so thank you. I'm not sure who this is. Rob, do we know who this is? It's Josh. He says. Yes, I've Josh. Over. I've taken over. J O S H. J O S H. Oh, well, I was just right, bro. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so this is for Wesley and Wyatt. I think it's a daddy who ordered it for Wesley and Wyatt, but I'm not sure. But it's my Janine and um, with the protopa proton pack. <laughs> <laughs> and um, thank you so much. It was really, uh, I actually signed it twice because I didn't like the way it looked with the gold pen. And then Ooh. I just did it with, uh, with that's, the that's black pen. So... I put a lot of effort into it. <laughs> and so you know, thank you. You know what? For that, no! there you go. Oh, I want everybody happened. to be happy with their prints. I, uh, like everybody else here wants that too. Oh, I didn't know we had sound effects. Then. Oh, well, <laughs> welcome to stream. <laughs> this one is not made out to anyone. So you're good for that one. So just my name. Okay. Just, yeah, just your name right okay. there. Okay. Um, let's see that? what other questions that we have in the chat. Can you hear that applause? Uh, pardon me? What was that, Joshua? Wait, can you hear the applause? No. But no, we'll make no, believe we do. Yeah, Joshua! Wait, Woo! wait. can you hear the air horn? Or air horn? No. 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 Uh, uh, no, all right. Uh, uh, I don't have them enabled. I could I could have provided them. <laughs> <laughs> so you have the next question. We have the, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, we have about eight minutes left in the stream. So please go to Digimon. I mean, streaming.com slash Digimon and get your prints right now while Laura is showing this fantastic print that, oh, that she signed for. For no one. No name. No <laughs> name. <laughs> I, I love we did it for no so one. I'll keep my mask on. It's uh yeah, it's Janine McProton Pop, which is a family favorite. And thank you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and that one's the same. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that's how they roll. That's how they roll. What do you got there, Joshy? I have one for Fernando Esquivel. The yeah. full name was put. So I wrote the full name because the full name was there in the Streamly uh, signing assistant. So it's Say it again. Full name. Yeah, <laughs> Fernando Esquivel. <laughs> So Fernando, Ooh. here we go. I love the way you roll. The R. 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 There you go. You Thank you, for Fernando. I'm an actor. I spent years perfecting this. Okay. I can't do that. You can, you can, well, the, there's two of them. There's the in the front and the in the back. You know, if you want to be like Ricky Ricardo and go. I can't do that. Um, this is. My name? <laughs> Just, oh, I love that you're like, this is my name. That's it. Because it's not made out to anybody. Yeah, it's not made out to anybody. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it, whoever you are. And thanks for being a Ghostbuster. Da -da 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 -da. Hey, Doug? What I just have a yes. weird Indeed. question for you. So sort does of David uh, Mesky. Um, what a <laughs> wait, you took it away. Oh, what what was it like voicing a BO oh. from Puka? <laughs> uh wait wait who, wait i did 
I did. So, These fans there? know the the fans know our resumes better than we know our resumes. I know. What was it? Oh, oh, oh Abio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, uh, okay. So, so Hello. that's the other. Um, that he was a fun character. He was basically uh, Cartman, but that crunchy stuff. Like, uh, hey, man, yeah, 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 hey, man. He's like baby, basically a no, Funko. If you took Bruce Lee and made him a Funko Pop, that's exactly what Abio would look like. <laughs> and he's kind of like this guy like this. And he's like, come on, Domino! Come on. Josh, Dominic Veal has another question. Do you and Tom Fawn have the same relationship as Ty and Agumon? <laughs> I think you guys really kind of do, though, right? Oh, me? <laughs> I haven't talked to Tom in years, but I mean, he was always a he was always a funny little guy, just like Agamon, and they're both orange. Do you and yeah. Dorothy Vaughn have the same uh, relationship as Ty and Agamon? I think Tom and Dorothy have the same relationship. As Ty and <laughs> I would, I would assume so. That's why right. they've been together so long. <laughs> A uh, quick shout out to Gabrielle Ash, who's an awesome human being. She also cosplays as Rock Lee. She honors me that way in character uh, of old Bushy Brows. She's an amazing human being. That is for you, my dear. Uh, whoa, sorry, it's uh, backwards and opposite. But I said uh, to you, you are my hero, Primary Lotus. Uh, yeah. Thank you very, very, very much. I got a quick little story about Rock Lee. I was uh, <laughs> at the time. I've. Uh, I've got one here to Chris, just Chris. So Chris, Digivolve. This is a popular print, man. This sold out, I noticed. Nice. So there you go, Chris. You got one. I, mean, I was directing Naruto, and I was casting uh, season two, and Brian was done with ADR at that point, and I was like, you got to play this part. He's perfect for you. He's like, if you do it, I'll do it. And I said, okay. And then two weeks later, I got offered Digimon Data Squad, and I left. And uh, but Brian's still signing Rock Lee stuff all these years later, so it worked out. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff Nimoy. You're welcome, buddy. Oh, Thank you, brother. Okay. This next one's for Lauren. She scored. I only have, I geez, I, I have two of these left, but this is a sweet, sweet print. Oh, yeah. um, yes. you were, Laura, I'm gonna sign this for you right now, and I know we only have a squeeze yeah. time, so I'm just shouting people out as I, as I can before uh, you know, we all go away. Uh, this is for Laura. Thank you. Uh, I think I was given a uh, a request for my video for a DVD of Famish, but I did not bring it because I didn't know. So maybe uh, we'll have to do that at the next uh, signing. Absolutely. Yes, which uh, will pro probably be Trigun as soon as that is uh, there. So whoever bought the DVD, thank you, and we will sign that live yes. for Trigun whenever that's scheduled. Tentatively right now for the 13th of August, but that might change. Mm. So, hey, question. Do you, do you guys know uh, who was the voice actor for Matt? For Matt? Do I know Michael him? Reed. I don't. Michael Reese. Who was it? I don't Michael think I've ever Reese. met him. Somebody no, asked me if I'd ever met him. I haven't. He's and, more of an um, on-camera on, on actor. And yeah, uh, yeah. Also, he also Josh, you wanted to... Yeah, sorry. I was just going to say, Michael Reese right. also segued to uh, writing scripts for films. He had a horror yeah. film come out. It did really well, I think, last year. Uh, he kind of he kind of pivoted uh, in his yeah. career. Yeah, I think he became a lawyer. Go ahead, Josh. Uh, he was a lawyer prior. To here's 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 one. Oh, sorry, Laura. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, I just have two here, really quickly, made out to no one, but I wanted to uh, show that it was signed. Hello, Ghostbusters. If it goes boo, we know what to do. <laughs> and uh, that's. Uh, Janine Melnick, she did say that. And then I do remember the way this was said was, good night yourself, Busta. Um, and <laughs> you sound like my movie. And I, and I got some ghosts and I went, proudy ass. I think, I think it was that show. Okay, here you go. I, I love your voice. Like you so Laura, wait, wait, I have a question for Laura. Wait, uh, she just always, you, you, you literally, your speaking voice sounds like Annie Potts. Were yeah. you like when you saw the the the, no, when, the, when, the notice for this? Were you in, like, no? When I got the job, I well, it was a long time ago, and it was right. just they gave me a cassette, and they they, I, they said I got the job, and they played it yeah. to voice match, and it was like, hello, Ghostbusters, please hold, Ghostbusters, please hold, and then after the few hours, they went, could you do a New York accent? I went. <laughs> right. uh, 
I think so. I'm from Queens. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so that's how I've yeah. never seen the movie. So that is. Oh wow! Uh, oh, wow. People say she has more of a New York accent in the second one. Yeah. I don't know, yeah. if, uh, but and that she copied me, which I really know. Is <laughs> right, 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 right. No, you sound you sound amazing. That's why okay. it blew me away. I was like, wow. Thanks. You guys will dig this. Right. This is uh, made out to Yoli. To Yoli. Oh, yeah. Nice. nice. Yoli, thank you. I'll put Digi Armor Energize and a little XO for you, Yoli. Thank you so, so much. That uh, was another Colleen uh, Digimon character. Digimon. Love Got one it. made out here to Armon. Armon, perhaps? Thank you, Armon. And we got one made out to uh, eBay. There you go. Hey, yeah. <laughs> you better love your favorite fan, eBay. Like, right. but ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, go to streaming.com slash Digimon to get your prints because we have three minutes left in the stream, ladies and gentlemen. Three minutes. Ba -ba -ba -ba. So with that, we have our final, the final prints that we're signing right now. Laura has three more. And the last one is a goodbye kiss. To, wow. Uh, yeah. 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 Well, Laura, I was, uh, well, Laura is doing that. Uh, let's just say this. Um, the one of the, I think the original question was your favorite memory and, uh, Jeff actually brings this one up a lot, but it's, uh, my favorite memory too. Um, I just wanted to shout out Jeff because he really did lead the posse here and created the, the whole essence of the English dub version of, of, uh, Digimon. And not only did he write it and create the, the flavors of all the characters, uh, he was an amazing director, you know, and it's, and it's, I don't think people realize what what that takes uh, because again, like, there's not a lot of people in the room. I mean, it's a pretty intimate with dubbing. Um, there's, you know, the, the, the editor at the time, the engineer, and then Jeff and then the talent and you're in a room by yourself <laughs> and, and the director's job, you know, he wrote it already, obviously the scripts are in our hand, but you know, the director's job is to, to tell us where we are on the storyline, um, figure out the energy of it, the scene, um, you know, we, we, we got to up and down our levels or our emotions. Um, and so this doesn't come, you know, this isn't like magic wand stuff. Like it takes a team and Jeff was uh, the captain of the ship. And, uh, you know, so for any love on Digimon or certainly our characters, um, Jeff was the man and uh, really, so thank you, my man, publicly. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks, I really appreciate, appreciate it. it. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you, bud. And thanks, everybody, for watching, too. Yeah, and thanks, everyone, for watching. Really so, appreciate the fans. So, Brian, so would you say that um, Jeff is like the <laughs> digi crust? That once, once every <laughs> look, I'm getting nervous. I'm getting nervous now. Look, look, just for the record, before you even ask the question, just know that I am not the guy that kisses him. All right, I am. <laughs> I, 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 I audition mainly on a couch. Kiss. You say I kiss very well. I guess I do kiss very well. You kiss too good. That's why I have to oh, wait. Hey, hey. All right, all right. I have a question for you guys. Yeah. Somebody wants me to sign my name and write Ty's response to this question on the signed print. And I'm wondering if this is something from the show that I've forgotten. The question is, hey, Ty, what's a semiconductor? Jeff, do you remember? Yeah. Uh, it was the joke yeah. about trains in the, uh, for, in the movie. Right. That's right. It's, a, it's someone who, who partially part-time conducts trains. Or something <laughs> like that. I can't remember exactly what it was. I, this is not fair. So, if, you were, if, you were if you were an engineer, if you were an engineer part time, you'd be a semiconductor. One at a time. Can I just uh, give these people their due here? Uh, Scott, here's my Janine for you. Thank you so much. And this is to Joseph, and he wanted it in green ink. Ooh. And so we tried one green, and it wasn't so great. So then we just tried another green. I hope you love it. And this uh, Janine is uh, for Alex, and he wanted me to kiss it. Uh, I don't know if I have enough lipstick to <laughs> the show, but he wanted an official kiss. So I'm going to kiss. I'm going to kiss right here, right now. Let's see if it works. I hope so. I hope so. Jeff will oh. definitely. Yeah. This is only fan stuff. No, like you see, that's why. That's why you've never been on. Very interactive. <laughs> so you can see a kiss mark, but it's not like a red lipstick or anything. It'll, you have to, yeah, you but, know. But it's it, just it's enough to get her arrested for DNA. DNA, sample. yeah, you can totally. Yeah, if you get a, if you get a purple, if you get a purple light, you should be okay. You know, so here. So I hope that's what you liked, and uh, you like it, love it, and. 
Carry on. Yeah. <laughs> Aaron, I got the answer. So, hey, Ty, what's a semiconductor? A guy who works part-time on a train? <laughs> That's the know. answer. Uh, it's amazing. They're still running. I mean, <laughs> Joshua, are, uh, how many prints do you have left to sign? I don't know. I don't understand how this works. Okay. There's a number that says right next to you. I'm numbering them. I'm numbering them. That was to Aaron. Hey, hey, Brian. Yo, so Brian, did you, did, were you in Alpha and Omega that you played Salty? I was. I played Salty in Alpha and Omega, and, uh, nice. and that, was, okay. that was super fun. Were you in that? Yeah, I played a couple of wolves. I think I played the bad guys. Yeah, I yeah. I played a really, a really pissed off porcupine. <laughs> yeah, we're all good. Grumpy Care Bears, pissed off porcupines. That's right. That's right. That's big, right. <laughs> you got a real niche there, buddy. Um, right. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's fun. You know, Alpha and Omega is 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 a surprise little hit. Like it's it's interesting how because it's kind of you know old school anime or animation and right. uh, and but I think. I think people were kind of hungry for that look and, and that feel. And, and so it, it really, you know, it's, it's been fun and nice. And it does come up, you know, more than I thought it would uh, as far as, like, people asking about it and stuff. But, yeah, super sweet. Uh, yeah, thanks, dude. Tell your kid I said hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Josh, it looks like you have four yeah. more left. Ele Elysier, Digivolve. There you go, another one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so... Ladies and gentlemen, we have, it's the last minute of the stream. Josh has four more prints to sign. So while he is tightening up, we are going to go around and say our social media handle so everybody can be following you on top of going to streamly.com slash Digimon to get their prints. We'll start off with um, the man that came in with a New York <laughs> Met mask. And now I see that we're all New Yorkers here, and I'm still hyped for that. Uh, so everything's works. easy to follow me at Jeff Nimoy. I'm on all the big ones. And uh, and I do all these things uh, um, for signing uh, exclusively through Streamily now. So just go to jeffnemoy.com and you'll be able to find the Streamily link as well. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and I love that Laura, L-O-V-E, that Laura um, and everything um, that Jeff's on. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, interpret that as you will. Okay, so uh, I won't see him again for ten years. But <laughs> I love uh, Brian Donovan uh, underscore one on Instagram and uh, just Brian Donovan on Facebook. And I'm holding my baby at the time, who's now seven. Crazy. Uh, yeah, please find me. I am an old fart, so I'm not on TikTok yet. And, uh, you know, but thank you again to everybody that's been here and uh, for watching the show and digging it as much as we do. And I'll see you in the digital room. Ow, love it. Um, Doug, you do? Doug, Doug, Doug Erholtz, just my time. name, what you see right here. <laughs> right here, except minus the TK stuff. But yeah, I'm on Twitter, kind of on Facebook, not really. Twitter's my jam. Twitter, yeah. TikTok, not so much. I spend most of the time. Joshua, did you have something you wanted to show us? Sure, yeah. Uh, let's see. This one is for uh, Dalton. Dalton Digivolve. And then here's one for Sam. Sam Digivolve. And uh, and I'll get to everybody else's afterwards. And I am on TikTok. I've only been on it for a few months, but my nine-year-old daughter uh, convinced me to do it. And I've had like a million and a half views in the last couple months. So uh, in nice. including nice. I just uh, – and it's all voiceover related. I'm only doing stuff at – comic-con signings and things so if you're into this joshua seth on, on tiktok i also spend too much time on twitter but that's for my own uh edification uh, and um, I'm, doing it, uh, I'm on the others but also also the main thing is i started a podcast recently and guess who's my next guest that i'm interviewing is jeff nimoy oh, so uh it's it's called communication transformation the theme of the podcast is how to sound like a better version of you every wow. other every other episode is me interviewing a voice actor or somebody that has some experience in sounding better and, and their journey. And then the episodes in between, like the one that dropped today is me giving you my advice on how to improve the way that you speak, the way that you sound. So it's communication transformation podcast with me, Joshua Seth. Nice. I will absolutely. Catch Casey, that. Casey. <laughs> absolutely. 
And ladies and gentlemen, once again, my name is Rob Fury. I am with Streamly.com. You can go to Streamly.live on all social media to catch us with our fantastic talent, see exactly what signings we're going to be doing next, and on top of that, to see what different talent that we're bringing onto the platform. And on top of that, you can add me at official Rob Fury on all social media <laughs> platforms. So if you have a suggestion of what talent you want to see on here, or if you have a question for any such talent, hit me up. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we are concluding the Digimon sighting. I want to thank everybody for being on here. And don't forget, please go to streamly.com slash Digimon to get your prints. And with that, um, I think I think it's time to... Uh-oh. Oh, oh. Uh, oh, it, 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 it's time to Digimon. I, I feel like I'm late with another episode. I got to another episode. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. Thank you again. Bye, so Bye.